And as you saw, of course, getting to the moon wasn't easy. It took a significant amount of preparation. NASA astronauts needed a place to prepare that would look and feel like the moon's surface. And that's when they set their eyes on Nevada. Here's how the Silver State turned into a launch pad for man's mission to the moon. Lift off on Apollo 11. The launch was seen around the world. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The first step on the moon made universal history. Here in Las Vegas, the entire front page of the Las Vegas Sun was dedicated to the monumental achievement of putting man on the moon. For a good reason, too. There were a variety of ways that our Apollo astronauts were prepared for their mission here in Nevada. It turns out that years Four, before the blastoff, two, one, NASA's astronauts were here in southern Nevada getting ready for their mission. Paul McFarlane is in charge of programs and technology for Nevada's Challenger program. Part of his mission is to share the importance of what happened right here in our backyard. I think you could make the argument that, that, that what was going on here was very critical. The Nevada test site, now known as the Nevada National Security Site, is where the Apollo 11 astronauts trained, starting in 1965, four years before suiting up and going to the moon. The influence of our state's early space involvement is still felt here in Las Vegas. But it was the training they did here that helped them uh, better understand the environment they were gonna, going to be in. John Getter is a Las Vegas author who tells the story of the Apollo mission, the space race, and much more in his book, Moonwalkers, not because it was easy. These were all jet jockeys, test pilots, fighter pilots. This was one of the greatest scientific opportunities ever. So a lot of what went on here was teaching jet jockeys how to be world-class geologists. And that's the value of what came out of Nevada. Nevada didn't just help create astronauts, it created one of the most important tools for astronauts in space, a pen. Paul Fisher created Fisher Space Pens. His factory is still in Boulder City. His pens went into space first on the Apollo 7, then Apollo 11 as part of the first moon landing. What makes the space pen different from any other conventional pen is that it actually writes upside down, underwater, boiling heat, and freezing cold. So at any point in time, uh, if, if you incline the pen back, it will always write. So while the first mission to the moon has roots right here in Southern Nevada, we can expect more history-making endeavors to come. It was one small step, but it's led to incalculable giant leaps for us as a uh, human race, and, and Nevada continues to play a part in that story.